So hello again YouTube, I've uh, got my door on and I uh, just thought I'd see what uh, temperature this thing's running at now it's got a door. Bloody hell. So I've got just over 400 uh, degrees C on the surface and as you can see it's roaring away in there. Uh, I've used Pyrex glass from a dish that was going to be a spare um, it's taken about four or five dishes to figure out how to cut this stuff so it doesn't just crack uh, so the hip doors on uh, I used gum gum to hold it in place not ideal as it expanded and I think that probably helped break the glass and I'm using a bulldog clip at the moment just to hold the door shut but so with a good seal on it, it can create 400 degrees. And obviously, it's a very, very small stove. Well, heater. Uh, at the minute, I'm just squirting a little bit of oil down the air intake now and again through this syringe. Um, I haven't decided yet how I want to run the fuel on it. Uh, that's, I'm actually cheating in a minute, this is a bit of sunflower oil. Um, what's in there is mainly waste oil, this horrible stuff here, which is kind of goopy. Yeah, so um, next I need to make a decent latch. I've got to put a little flue into my workshop for this. Um, as you can see, though, it is. very very clean burning and it's also epically hot we're going to uh, clean up these wells because they are absolutely disgraceful that's where I used the uh, aluminium rivets and the alley got dragged into the wild a little bit I'm very happy. Oh, and I've also placed a little potentiometer on here instead of my power pack because this is working far better. Um, it gives way better control. Off speeds. I mean, I can turn. Turn the fan right up, but I think that will just turn some fuel too fast. Oh so, yeah. Um, next, I've got to figure out the fuel latch for the door, and I'm going to have to order some stove glass off eBay, I think, because I can't find any around Portsmouth, like UK. Um, and then this will be it finished with a flume, and I'm thinking about making one where uh, the air supply comes in through the top down to the bottom, branches off and sort of creates a vortex with some uh, secondary burn holes along it as they look pretty decent and I'm not entirely like <laughs> fed up of making this thing yet. Anyway, thanks very much and uh, catch you on the next one.